when your life is turned upside down the first thing you should do is go on a trip with your bestie we woke up at 4 30 and headed to the airport well, we flew into kawaii and we got kawaii coffee because we need it our flight was super early dying 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 mariah looking all cute in a coffee cup <laughs> We got out our Google Maps and we found a beach and clicked on it and it took us down this crazy dirt road. After about 20 minutes, we made it to the most beautiful secluded beach. There was probably like three or four other people there and it just stretched for miles and miles. However, there was no shade, no trees or nothing and it was super wavy and we decided we didn't want to get burnt or drown on our first day in Kauai. So we just sat there, enjoyed the beach for a little bit. On our way out, we stopped by Waimea Canyon. Oh my gosh, talk about views. If you guys go to Kauai, you'll have to stop by here. It kind of reminds me of like the Grand Canyon. And after the disappointment of not being able to get in the water, this totally made up for it. We just sat, enjoyed the view for a little bit and tried to play it out the rest of our day. We then ended up exploring and then we took a walk on this red dirt trail and we headed to this little waterfall. The pictures honestly made it look so amazing and so huge, so big, um, but then when we got there, it was so tiny. It was smaller than me, it was probably like four feet or something like that. Um, but it was beautiful with all the red dirt around it. The next day, we woke up, got out of our tent, and headed to the nearest beach. It started pouring down rain. <laughs> it was beautiful, but it was so cold, and the moment that you stepped outside in the rain, you were drenched. So we ended up kind of like weeding it out a little bit underneath this cave area. Once the rain stopped, we decided to walk on the beach. The water was super cold, but the sand was absolutely beautiful here. We then decided that we just had to get in to the water because we had already been there for one day and we had still not gotten in. It was freezing. <laughs> It was so cold and there was a bunch of rocks at this place so we weren't able to actually go out any further and swim um, but we felt kind of accomplished because we actually finally got in the water so while we were out there guess what of course it started raining on us again I don't know what was up with this kawaii weather we ended up just trying to chase the sun and find a beach that we could just chill at and just relax We found this beach in this little neighborhood and it had this little trail down onto the beach and it was so beautiful, so secluded, so nice. It was super wavy here too and so we decided not to get in the water. I know it doesn't look wavy right here but the current was so strong it looked like it could have pulled us out there and we were not fully confident in our swimming abilities. So we set out our blankets 
and Mariah went to explore all the tide pools and I sat down to read my really good book. It has some pretty steamy parts in it and I could not put it down the whole entire trip. While I was out there though, it started to rain. So we ended up packing everything up and trying to find some sun. Of course, we were like, we need drinks and food. <laughs> Here is the tiki bar. Ooh, I got a pina colada and Mariah got... Now watch me whip. <laughs> now watch me name it. <laughs> and there's the ocean right there. And of course, we got some fish tacos, poke, and more drinks. We're leaving Kauai! Bye, Kauai! Bye, Kauai! Bye, Kauai! You've been Bye, so Kia. nice, Kia! <laughs> The next day when we got home, we had the most relaxing day at the beach. We met up with my friend Aurora and we just hung out, took tons of photos and just chilled. Me and Mariah then ended the night on a boat ride. Of course, the next morning we just woke right up and headed to this famous coffee shop on the shore. It's so yummy. Hi. <laughs> really good coffee. <laughs> we then drove down the road and got some shaved ice. I got condensed milk on mine and Mariah got Li Hing Mui. And yeah, we just sat there and ate it, headed to the beach. It was freaking cold, windy, but we ended up staying there until sunset. And then we headed into Waikiki and we got this most delicious ginger mead and it was like the best thing I've ever had in my life. I absolutely love it. And we just sat there and we read our books until it was time to drop Mariah off at the airport.